Hello and welcome to another quick demonstration of uh, HPE's ArcSight Solutions. Today I'm going to be focusing a little bit around uh, Logger and some of the new features that are available as 6.1 version release. Uh, specifically I'm going to talk around a little bit of expanded functionality we have with what we call lookup lists. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just jump straight into doing a search just uh, very quickly uh, and let me just run a very quick search on the last 10 minutes. We can see some data there. It's very simple and straightforward. You'll notice there's a few updates to the graphics and there's a little bit more animation to them as well. But we can see some data there. You know, maybe we want to dig into some data here and do some searching for, I don't know, uh, make sure that the uh, source address is not null uh, to make sure there's no blank data with regards to this source address where it's coming from. Well, there's lots of data there. We can see lots of products and so on. Oh, there's lots of information coming from lots of different sources there. Well, okay, let's expand that a little bit. Uh, and uh, destination address is not null. So we're not the source and destination is not blank. Uh, we can see, again, there's lots of data there, lots of different log sources. Well, that's kind of useful. But wouldn't it be useful if we had some of this data, for example, in uh, we want to do some analysis from external data? So we can actually do that using what we call lookup lists. We have a, a couple defined here. Uh, I'm actually going to pick on this one, for example, is the Tor exit nodes. Uh, this data is freely available from lots of different sources. Uh, you can use a number of different uh, mechanisms for doing that. But uh, what we have defined here is we've just got a very simple, uh, it's a CSV file. So we can see that there's a name defined here. There's a country code where it's come from. There's an IP address of the actual exit node and there's a port that's used as well. We've defined what the schema is here. Um, there is more information uh, I've done in a previous uh, uh, demonstration around lookup lists specifically. What's more important then is, is this case is we can actually update it every 30 minutes. Uh, it's actually very simple, very straightforward to use. Um, so for example, what I could do is just jump into uh, where it comes from. Uh, we've actually stored this in the TMP, TMP folder. Not a great location, I'll grant you, but we can see the actual file here. If I just jump back to the previous uh, screen uh, and view the lookup files, uh, we can actually see that that is, uh, just do an edit on that. We can see that's where it's stored and it's updated every 30 minutes. Uh, you can actually make it smaller. For example, you can make it 15 minutes, but we've decided to make it 30 because most of the data uh, for Tor exit nodes is typically updated every 30 uh, minutes anyway. You probably don't want to do much sooner than that. So we can see that our file is located here. Uh, and uh, I've actually just done a very simple update to this. Uh, so if I just do uh, more you can see there's a, a, a quick little test in there as well just to show uh, and it literally is a, a case of I would just simply overwrite that file so it's very easy for me to do that so copy update onto lookup uh, do I want to do that yes and it's done so I now have to wait up to 30 minutes for the refresh to occur it's going to refresh that data into uh, the actual lookup file itself and then I'll be able to use it now, uh, through the magic of uh, editing, uh, of course, I will make sure that this actually does update and uh, you don't have to wait for up to 30 minutes on a video just staring at a blank screen. Uh, in the meantime, though, I, I will actually jump through and just do a little bit of expansion on this search, for example, just to give an illustration of how we could use some of this data within a lookup list as well. So uh, what we can do is we can put that into a lookup list. And of course, as I'm typing, it's actually completing it. In fact, it actually got my previous search here. Just to talk that through for a second. So look up in my Tor exit node list, the IP address field with a destination address. Uh, so uh, data is going into the exit, um, which is kind of the wrong way of doing things. But just as an example to do that, then output all fields and put that into a chart based on the source address. So who are who is talking back through a Tor exit node? Simple as that. Just run the search. It gives me a very simple chart. Hey presto, unusually I actually get a bang on 500 events there, which is very odd, but we can see that there's our IP addresses. And again, each one of these, I can just click and drill down and, and, and see what's going on. Of course, if I wanted to, I can actually change the chart on this one uh, and set it to be, for example, a pie chart. 
apply that and hey presto we got a chart we could then subsequently save that we can put it into a dashboard we can have that dashboard instantly viewable so then it becomes very easy for me then to just to see toy exit communications uh, and i can just click through and, and view that data um, so it's very simple very straightforward uh, just for reference of course uh, you could actually get to this data very simply and very easily um, this is one particular website that you could use which is the tour status blutmagee.com uh, .de, you'll see all the data there. You can actually download the CSV files. So you could very simply write a script file using uh, wget or equivalent to get those files. These are actually typically updated every 30 minutes as well. So you could pull that data down, have that data automatically inserted into uh, Logger, refresh because we're just reading in a file, and then have your dashboard and your view accordingly. Um, but like I said, on the magic of uh, viewing this data in the first place on an edited file, if I just go back and view my Tor exit nodes briefly here, and through the magic of editing of the video, because you don't want to wait that long, I can just go Tor exit nodes, and then we can see that the uh, the update that was made to that is there and ready to go. Um, so I will just a very quick walkthrough of a scenario that you could use an automatic updating uh, lookup list with information, for example, in this case, uh, Tor exit nodes, have that file updated, have that lookup list automatically updated against the schedule, and then have that reflected in a search, which then can be used in a dashboard very simply and very easily. Um, if you want to give me a, uh, drop me a note and let me know if you've got any other suggestions around these kind of ideas and, and uh, uh, ways of using lookup lists, then please do drop me a note through the um, Google Plus uh, mechanism as well. That would be great. Thank you very much.